In this section, we're going to be looking at relations and functions. Relationships can also be represented by a set of ordered pairs called a relation. So we're going to look at an example of three ways in which we can represent relations. So here's going to be our relations, which are basically ordered pairs. We got 1, 5, 2, 3, 3, 2, and 4, 1. So the first way in which we can represent this is by using a table. Our input values would be our x values, and our output values are going to be our y values. So in the input column, we would have the numbers 1, 2, 3, and 4. As you can see, those are the x values of the ordered pairs. Now the output is going to be the y values, such as 5, 3, 2, and 1. The second way in which to represent the relations would be using a graph. We can graph the coordinates. So let's start off by graphing the first one. 1, 5. Start at the origin, go 1 to the right, and 5 up. Then do the same thing with 2, 3. Go 2 to the right, and 3 up. Third set, go 3 over, and 2 up. And the fourth set, go 4 over, and 1 up. Okay, now we're going to look at the third way you can represent this relations using a mapping diagram. Basically, you place the x values in the domain column, and our x values would be 1, 2, 3, and 4. And then our range would be the y values, 5, 3, 2, and 1, which we can tell just based off looking at the ordered pairs. Okay. The, do the domain of a, r of a relation is the set of first coordinates, or the x value of the coordinates. The range of a relation is the set of second coordinates, or the y values. So, let's look at an example of this using a graph. We're going to use this graph in order to determine the domain and range. As we can see on this graph, the x value starts at 1 and goes to 3. So we know that the, our domain is 1 less than or equal to x less than or equal to 3. This inequality shows us that the x value can be anything from 1 to 3. And that's the domain. Now let's look at the range. The range is going to be the y values. If we look at the vertical axis, we see that the graph goes from 2 to 4. So our range is going to be 2 less than or equal to y less than or equal to 4. Because our graph can go anywhere from 2 to 4 along the vertical axis. A function is a special type of relation that that pairs each domain x value with exactly one range value y value. So let's look at an example of this. Pretend we have the following relations in our chart. We can say that this relation is a function because each domain value, which is an x value, is paired with exactly one range value and only one range value. Now we're going to look at another example of this using the mapping diagram. Here we have the numbers 7, 9, 12, and 15. And our range is the values negative 7, negative 1, z and 0. We're going to look at how the domain values pair up with the range values now.
In this example, we can already see that the domain value of 7 is paired with three different range values. We can tell by this that this relation is not a function because each domain value does not have exactly one range value. The domain value 7 is paired with the range values negative 1, 0, negative 1, and 0. So we can see that it has two range values, and therefore, this is not a function. Now we're going to look at a final example. We want to determine whether or not this graph is a function. In order to do this, we can do something called the vertical line test. What you do is you go to any, any point in the graph and you draw a vertical line straight down. If the vertical line intersects the graph in two or more spots, the, the graph is not a function. Because that means some domain value has more than one range value.